the problem is find the inverse z transform of z cube minus 20 z divided by z minus 2 whole cube into z minus 4 so this is also a one of the important uh, question for examination point of view so i request concentrate all this example so the given uh, function that is u dash of z is equal to what here z cube minus 20 z divided by z minus 2 whole cube into z minus 4 so here we will apply some uh, direct steps uh, to simplify this uh, question now so we have so using the functions so just i want to uh, go back to the formulas here so the formulas what we have uh, so z upon z minus 1 square so if square comes uh, so we can write z minus 1 whole square if z minus 1 whole cube is there so numerator we can write it as what here z square minus z and if z minus 1 raised to 4 if it is coming we can write it is what here uh, z cube plus 4 z square plus z so similarly if the terms are like what here in terms of k by using so if z minus k whole square is there so numerator we can frame it as what here kz and uh, if you find a z minus k whole cube then numerator we can frame it as what here kz square plus k square z so just uh, keep this point in mind and i want to frame uh, some formulas here what is that by seeing the denominators so here uh, we can write this denominator first one bracket z minus 2 whole cube as uh, one time as uh, one time will consider z minus 2 then z minus 2 whole square then z minus 2 whole cube so therefore so we know that so z inverse of z minus 2 if z minus 2 only one time uh, we are taking then always uh, the numerator will be z and the resultant of this will be what here 2 raised to n next z inverse of z minus 2 raised to 1 then we'll take what here z minus 2 whole square in increasing order up to what uh, up to 3 we need to take here because we have up to 3 so z minus 2 whole square whole square means what here uh, i will just refer the formula you can find here so z minus k whole square what's supposed to be the numerator kz so value of k is what here whatever z minus k whatever value we have here that value we need to multiply here so therefore what happens the value of uh, k is 2 so we need to apply here so it will become 2z and the resultant will be what here it will be it uh, the uh, result will be 2 raised to n into n the resultant is what here because k raised to n into n it will be so similarly so z minus 3 uh, z minus 2 whole cube z inverse of i'll write first denominator that is z minus 2 whole cube if it is there so what to write here so a uh, whole cube what uh, we need to prepare a numerator so z minus k whole cube can be written as kz square plus k square z and the resultant will be final k raised to n into n square so k value is whatever we have here so k value is 2 so therefore the numerator we can write it as as per the formula so 2z square plus 4z and the form result what is what here 2 raised to n into this is the formula for n square so we got what here z minus 1 uh, sorry z minus 2 one time z minus 2 square and z minus 3 whole square then we don't have any power of this only one time that is finally uh, z inverse of z minus 4 so only one time coming always numerator will be z so the here it will be k raised to n formula that is 4 raised to n so the value of k is 4 so once we got this if you by seeing the denominator if you, you need to rearrange this this is one of the very important step and for this we need to whatever resultant we got uh, that is a uh, z by z minus 2 then 2z by z minus 2 square then uh, 2z square plus 4z whole divided by z minus 2 whole cube and z divided by z minus 4 the same way you need to take what here as a, a partial fraction and we need to simplify this means i can say that uh, u dash of z which is nothing but what here z cube minus 20 z divided by z minus 2 whole cube into z minus 4 
which can be written as in the form of partial fraction a into the first bracket that is z divided by z minus 2 plus b into second bracket second uh, resultant what we have got it that is 2z divided by z minus 2 whole square plus c into next is what here 2z square plus 4z divided by z minus 2 whole cube next continue plus d almost next plus d into z divided by z minus 4 so we need to take the lcm of this and we need to get the values of a b c and d so if you take the lcm lcm will be what here uh, z minus 2 whole cube uh, into z minus 4 on right hand side also so therefore our equation will be our equation will be uh, z cube minus 20 z so z cube minus 20 z is equal to on taking lcm it will be a into z will cancel so it will be a into z minus 2 whole square into z minus 4 plus 2b into z minus 2 into z minus 4 plus c into 2z minus 4 into z minus 4 plus d into z minus 2 whole cube if you take lcm and simplify you will find this situation and here you start finding the values here so uh, i will write the few results directly you work out and check so if you put z is equal to 2 here so if you put z is equal to 2 you will get the value of c is equal to 1 okay then if you put z is equal to 4 okay if you put z is equal to 4 uh, you will get the value of d as minus 1 upon 2 you cross check uh, these results once again and so only two values are possible here because in the above situation we have z minus 2 z minus 4 and uh, uh, no other values are uh, remaining so therefore now equating the coefficients of z cube equating the coefficients of coefficients of z cube will get a equation as means both side we need to equate so we'll get a equation a plus d is equal to 0 so therefore we know the value of d d is minus 1 by 2 so therefore value of a will be 1 by 2 then put z is equal to 0 if you put z is equal to 0 uh, you will find uh, the value of b by using the above uh, a d c value you will get the value of uh, b as 0 means first we need to apply the value of z in the above expression so once you apply you will get a, a few things will be left that is a value d value c value if you apply those values you will get the value of b so we got the value of a b c d so therefore substituting this a b c d value in the above expression that is above expression means in this expression so we will get one of the standard form so that easily we can apply the inverse z transform so we will see that so on substituting the values of a b c d we get that is u dash of z is equal to a into z divided by z minus 2 we have so value of a is 1 by 2 so therefore it will become 1 by 2 into z divided by z minus 2 fine so next the value of b is 0 so 0 into entire thing is what here 0 i'll write directly 0 next so value of c we got it as 1 so plus 1 into 1 into 2z square plus 4z divided by z minus 2 whole cube 
and value of d is minus 1 by 2 that's why i write minus 1 by 2 into we have what here it is z by z minus 4 so therefore once we got this uh, uh, situation we can easily apply z inverse on both the side take z inverse of u dash of z is equal to 1 by 2 is a constant z inverse of z divided by z minus 2 plus 1 you leave it so z inverse of 2z square minus uh, plus 4z divided by z minus 2 whole cube minus 1 by 2 is a constant z inverse of z divided by z minus 4 so once we got this all step we can easily apply what here inverse z transform so z inverse of u dash of z will become what here u n is equal to 1 by 2 times z divided by z minus 2 is what here uh, 2 raised to n plus so already we know uh, z inverse of 2z square plus 4z divided by z minus 2 whole cube already we have seen previously as you can see here uh, z inverse of 2z square plus 4z upon z minus 2 whole cube is nothing but 2 raised to n into n square and similarly z inverse of z divided by z minus 4 is what here 4 raised to n we will apply the same here so this will become what here it will become 2 raised to n into n square minus 1 by 2 because we are applying 1 by 2 as it is so z divided by z minus 4 inverse of this is what here it is 4 raised to n so therefore finally i can conclude it what here u n is equal to so 2 raised to n divided by 2 so if you two take up it will become 2 raised to uh, n minus 1 plus 2 raised to n into n square as it is so we can write this uh, as uh, minus uh, minus so 4 raised to n can be written as what here uh, 4 raised to n so 4 raised to n can be written as 2 square 2 raised to 2 n we can write so therefore 2 raised to 2 n minus 1 if this 2 if you take up it will become minus 1 so 2 raised to 2 n minus 1 so in this way so the required solution we got it so in this way we need to simplify the partial fraction uh, sorry, uh, this is a Z transform using partial fraction as well as uh, we have framed the formula before the before applying the partial fraction and those formula only we have considered as what here the constant A, B, C, D and uh, we got the solution of this particular question.